about that <laughs> welcome back everybody thank you guys for tuning in uh, I've got another short video for you guys today um, yesterday I got a, a tag uh, from uh, uh, from a, a channel that I follow uh, it's called simply garden and I will post the link down in the bottom in the description after the video uh, but he gave me a tag out in his video on uh, a few questions um, so here I am I've got these questions and then I'm gonna do a shout out at the end too so here we go first question why do I garden that is a very complicated question but I will try to break it down for you guys so a few years ago I was you know I, I started feeling like why do I trust the food that comes from the store like all the food while well, everybody's getting you know some people are getting sick from eating things like lettuce and uh, you know cause some of the farms have gotten so big that they're not they don't care about the food anymore it's just a big company and everything's part of a machine so I feel like uh, I was losing touch with my food and where it came from and I was putting all my trust in that so I started gardening in my backyard and I found out I had not one but two green thumbs two of them so um, and it's fun it's really relaxing and it's really really rewarding um, eating something that you put your effort into taking care of and, and then growing uh, watching grow over a period of months or weeks or how you know whatever it is you're growing but uh, I think that's my point for why I garden and then uh, two how long have I been gardening um, geez so I mean I started this about three years ago so I would say three years but uh, uh, I think when I was in high school I did take uh, hydroculture hydroculture horticulture but uh, I, th I don't think I followed up with anything after that until you know, like I said, three years ago. So that's my answer for how long I've been gardening. And then what do I grow? Okay, so right now it's summertime, so not a lot of things grow really good in the summer here in Arizona. As you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of corn and I've got some basil and some eggplants. Uh, and if you guys have been following me, you know that these grow beds are not, uh, they're not very old. They're not very old. I just built them a couple months ago, so I didn't actually have a chance to get a lot of stuff growing in there. So that's what I have right now. And then uh, I do have some watermelons and cantaloupes over here. They're about at the end of their cycle though. So I need to clean these out. And then uh, when it starts cooling down though, I'll start breaking out the lettuce and the brassicas and some uh, carrots and things like that, some root vegetables. And uh, yeah, I think cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, spinach. Um, I've even got some Romanesco broccoli. Um, I've got all those seeds inside germinating right now, getting ready. Um, and then, uh, I mean, I could name off many, many more. I've got another experiment going on over there where I'm going to do potatoes. This is going to be a sunflower tower. So I, anything that I can grow, I will. And then if it doesn't grow here very well, I just won't try it again next year. And then uh, fourth question, why do I YouTube? Um, uh, one of my friends actually was like why don't you make videos and put them on YouTube because he saw what I was doing in my gardening and thought I should share it so I started out um, with a broken cell phone and I was using the forward facing selfie camera on it because the back facing camera was broken so I had to record pointing the screen at the whatever I was looking at so I couldn't even tell what I was recording at, at the beginning and uh, yeah <laughs> You could actually go all the way back and see my very first video where I built my very first little tiny aquaponics system and and then you can kind of watch it blossom into uh, what you see here now and then uh, I've gained a little bit of more knowledge, uh, a little bit more experience. Um, I'm still no expert by any means. Um, but yeah, other than that, why did I want to do this on YouTube? I guess that would be it. I mean, I'm not going to be rich and famous doing this. Um, it's basically just me sharing what I'm doing so that um, other people can learn from it. And then if I screw something up, you'll learn too. If you're building something similar at home, you can uh, follow my mistakes and then try not to repeat those. Because I've made a few and I try to share all of those with you guys. And uh, those are that's it for my four questions. And then uh, I got three people I wrote down here. Um, first one is going to be uh, 602 Larry AZ. Um, he was actually one of the first aquaponic channels that I uh, found on YouTube when I started experimenting with it. Um, he hasn't posted uh, a lot recently, but I know uh, from his last video it looked like he's working on something really cool coming up. So yeah, give him a check, 602 Larry AZ. 
I'll put the link for these channels down in the description. And then the next one is Jeff Davidson. Um, he's a uh, aquaponics gardener in uh, Southern California, I believe. Um, he's got some really cool stuff there. His weather is amazing. I'm so envious of your weather, Jeff. It's so good, you guys. Oh man! But I'm sure it'll be a little different this winter time for me over here. Um, but he's got good content. He's good at answering questions if you have, have questions. And then uh, third, last but not least, is uh, Growing Grass Hobby Farms. Um, he's also a, he's a smaller YouTube channel like myself, and he does a lot of hydroponics on his channel. And he does some, uh, some stuff out in his farm as well. But he does a lot of uh, uh, hydroponics, and he, he does like the, uh, the, the gutter system and some things like that, and the Dutch buckets, and he's got a lot of really big greenhouses. And he's a really, really nice guy, and he's good at answering comments and questions on his channel as well. And I will also put his link down at the bottom. And I think we're going to wrap this up because, yeah, I've got something else to work on over there. But you guys might have seen the first part of that video. I've got a little bit more done since then. I'll share that with you guys tomorrow with another update on it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, pop those down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, keep building. And then, like I always like to do, we'll do the fish bonus.